So um, with this today, I'm wanting to show you the Pro Tools U Control app. Uh, it's a brilliant piece of uh, it's a brilliant application to use. Um, so let's take it right down to it. I'm going to show you how we can download it um, on the com and how to set it up, and also how to uh, work and get it work well, get it working. And uh, and I'm going to show you also how how we can use it as well. So let's get Ad Avid's website up and show you what we need to do to download it. So first of all. Uh, is just the knowledge base that you can do. So, uh, the knowledge base where it gives you all the information, sorry. So first of all, these, this is important bit, these are the systems and the doors that it works on. So, we've got Avid, obviously Pro Tools, uh, Media Composer, Logix, uh, Cubase, and Nuendo as well. So, Essentially, you'll be able to use it with uh, with all of them. Now, to download it, you go to your Avid uh, account, and you basically just buy it. Even though it's free, you just buy it, and, and it will come down into your My Products and Subscriptions, which uh, down here is where mine is. Okay, so. Essentially, you download it, you download the Yukon, you download the app, which uh, you can set up here. Let me show you when it's once it's downloaded. <laughs> so your services, basically, that's your iPad here, um, which I've got, as you can see, in my beautiful little blank screen over here. Um, and that'll just come up here. And once I've got that set up on the iPad, I'll show you. And workstations is just your your Mac, your PC, whatever, um, and then all the, all the other general things it has on there. So they're just the settings. And then when you've got it all set up on that, you need to go to your peripherals, and just as if um, you were setting up your uh, your control, uh, your control service like your desk or anything like that. Um, with Ethernet, you do it through here as well because it's using the Wi-Fi. Technically, it's under Ethernet. Uh, and then down here, the separate box it would say "Enabled you Enable Ucon." It won't work without that. So you need to select that. It will take a couple of minutes to set it up, and then just obviously press OK. Then you go to your iPad or your I don't know whether it I don't know if it works on uh, any other uh, operating system uh, for Windows, Android. I don't know, um, but go to your uh, your App Store. Just search Pro Tools, as you can see. I've done there at the top. Search Pro Tools, and then it's the first one that comes up. So here we've got Pro Tools Control, and this is what it looks like. Um, just to you know thing you've got there and so download that now let's it will obviously go down onto your uh, thing then to your menu and you've got PT control and that's it that's what we're looking for oh sorry about that so there we have it this is it opened up on my uh, computer here and as you can see, because I've got the session loaded up already, it's loaded up the session. Now, it will do it automatically. Uh, if you've got this loaded up and you load up the session, it will do it automatically to, and it will all load up. There's nothing else that you need to do on it. Uh, so let's have a look at the insides of it, basically. So I'm just going to start, well, first of all, before we do anything else, Let's, I've got my, right, I'm not going to use my mouse. It's down here. You can see it. Hello. Um, so I'm not going to use my mouse. I'm just going to use the app. So you can just obviously slide along as it's doing here. Blah, 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 blah. And it does exactly what it does on the screen. So as you can see here, 
I've got my input. Uh, that's just for my vehicle channel here. Now, because of the way that I've got this screen recording set up, if I press input record, input enable, then it's not going to do anything. So it, you'll still hear me. There you go. And you can still hear me. Hello. So you have to hear my voice. But then put it in again. And there we go. So now you can see it coming in, the signal coming in. And then we've got the record enable, which you can see there. It's coming up and down, blah, 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 blah. And you can obviously turn it off and on. And then you can obviously record and do that as well. Let's go back to the start of the. Ooh, sorry about that. Uh, slippy, slippy surface. Let's go back to the and here blah 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 so this is a session by a band called Ho ocean house um this is one of the mixes i'm doing for them so <laughs> i've got my drum tracks enabled here because uh, that's the only one that i've fully mixed at the moment really um let's look at the kick so i've got my audix d6 in there and as you can see You've got the volume level here, it's two, minus 2.1. Actually, I think that should be positive 2.1. Um, it's wrong anyway. So, yeah. But as you can see, up and down, up and down, up and down. It's controlling the fade up. Let's get that back to where it was. There we go. Oh, that'll do. And obviously, you can solo uh, and mute as well. So... And obviously everything that you do on here does show up on the screen as well, as you can see. Um, then we can go, and obviously that's, that's across the board. You can change the pan, left and right. Obviously that's a stereo one, left and right for the, if we select the D112, left and right as well there. And you can see on the screen. Let's get, let's center that again. There we go. Right, so let's have a look at the other things. So if you go up here, where you've got, it says mixer. I don't know if you can see that's a bit too high. There you go. Right, so we've got mixer, tracks, channel, and soft keys. So let's go into tracks. Also, just before, you, uh, before we carry on, one thing I forgot to mention. Let's bring this down a bit. You see at the top here, right at the top in that green writing, it says, uh, for me, Pro Tools 12 Mac. So that basically shows that it's connected. If it's not, then it will just say no connection. Um, so let's have a, a look and let's hope it doesn't fall over. I'm just going to put my remote in there just so it doesn't fall over. So obviously you can record, play everything now, now, rewind, fast forward. This one, this window here, the tracks window is just shows your track. This is new for this new update, this part of the, uh, the app. So essentially what you can do is, oh, I've got the wrong one selected, but essentially what you can do is you can change the settings of your plugins using this now. Never used to be able to do that. And so you can see inserts, input, dynamic, uh, EQ, sends, pan, group, mix, all that across there. Um, let's go to inserts. So you can see I've got my Renaissance EQ from Waves here. Um, obviously, everything's unbypassed at the moment. However, if you press that button there, it's bypassed. And the same again with that and that. And then if you just want to bypass them all, you've got your inserts, you see they've got them all in here. Bypass them all. Just press that button there. Okay. So let's look at the Renaissance EQ then. So if you just select it, there you go, it all pops up magically. And it changes the, uh, the look on here as well. So you can bring in the EQs. Let's actually play track. Hold on a second. 
It's coming. Should be. There we go. So. Bring that in. Take it out, bring it in, blah de blah de blah. Cut it. Boost it. Too much. Get it back to the bus. And then you can change the frequency of it. As you can band compressor here again you can do the exact same thing and then you've got each band here as well so what you need to do with it and then over here i've got my melody production uh, compressor as well so there you have that and you can change your input. so input like your uh, input there dynamic just automatically the compressor eq automatically change the level of uh, sense that you have and everything. Again, press that button. Thank you. 
So it is an extremely useful app to use. Um, and this new update is brilliant. The only downside to it is it does all you it does use a lot of battery um, on your on your uh, on your iPad uh, on your tablet. So uh, just be wary of that. Um, yeah. So download it, give it a go. It's definitely worth it. Definitely worth the free price tag. So thanks a lot.